Today's electrician license exam prep is based on raceways and enclosures. We're going to have 25 practice questions, answers, along with explanations. What is the minimum size metal junction box required for four 10 AWG conductors and two 6 AWG conductors? Is it A, 4 by 1 and a quarter square box, B, 4 by 2 and an eighth square box, C, 4 by 1 and a quarter octagon box, or D, 4 by 2 octagon? correct answer is B. A conduit nipple between a power panel board and a wireway is 36 inches long and contains four 3 THHN conductors and one number two AWG wire. The maximum total cross-sectional area conductor fill capacity for this raceway is A, 53%, B, 31%, C, 40%, or D, 60%. Correct answer is C. The Transit Authority is installing a washing station for buses at the bus garage. All exposed boxes, fitting, conduits, and cable inside the wash station shall be installed by blank. A, so that devices can be easily removed for cleaning. B, so there is a quarter inch airspace between it and the wall. C, using plastic wiring methods or non-corrosive materials. Or D, so that all wiring methods are flush with all exposed surfaces. Correct answer is B. In damp or wet locations, surface type enclosures within the scope of this article shall be planned or equipped so as to prevent moisture or water from entering and accumulating within the cabinet or cutout box and shall be mounted so there is at least blank airspace between the enclosure and the wall or other supporting surface. A, quarter inch, B, half inch, C, one inch, or D, one and a half inches. Correct answer is A. In walls of concrete, tile, or other non-combustible material, Cabinet shall be installed so that the front edge of the cabinet is not set back of the finished surface more than six millimeters or a quarter inch. In walls constructed of wood or other combustible materials, cabinet shall be flush with the finished surface or project there blank from a quarter inch, b a half inch, c one inch, or d one and a half inches. Correct answer is A. Wiring systems inside boxes must be installed that the conductors contained in them can blank without removing any part of the building. A. Access devices. B. Be rendered accessible. C. Spliced and connected to devices. Or D. Have extra space for future expansion. Correct answer is B. Looking at the picture to the right, calculate the dimension as labeled A in the drawing. Is it A, 20 inches, B, 15 inches, C, 22 inches, or D, 24 inches?
correct answer is B. For the purposes of determining box fill, use figure 9 to the right to calculate the number of conductors in the junction box. Would it be A6, B7, C8, or 9D? Correct answer is D. Three conductors pass unbroken through a box. In addition, one hot conductor is spliced to a conductor going to a switch, a switch leg. A neutral is spliced to a fixture wire and carries on through the box. A switch leg is spliced to a fixture wire. The two fixture wires supply a lighting fixture. There is a fixture stud and a fixture hickey installed in the box. All conductors are number 12 in metal raceways with metal boxes. There are no cable clamps contained within the box. Calculate the number of conductors in the box for the purpose of, of, of determining box fill. Would it be A7, B9, C10, or D12? Correct answer is D. Looking at the picture to the right, the installation shows three number four aught copper conductors installed in a two inch EMT passing through the pole box at right angles. What is the minimum diagonal distance on, on this drawing? Is it A, 10 inches, B, 12 inches, C, 14 inches, or D, 16 inches. Correct answer is B. An EMT raceway runs across an earthquake expansion joint section in a building. The raceway is required to A. Be supported every five feet with approved fastening devices. B. An equipment grounding conductor must be installed in the raceway. C. Flexible metal conduit must be used around the expansion joint. Or D. The raceway must be made electrically continuous by equipment bonding jumpers. D is the correct answer. Bends of IMC shall be made so that the conduit will not be damaged and so that the internal diameter of the conduit will not be effectively reduced. What is the minimum bending radius using a one-shot bender for a three and a half inch conduit? Is it A, 24 inches, B, 32 inches, C, 48 inches, or D, 15 inches? Correct answer here is D. Using the NEC, how many degrees of bending is allowed between pull points in a metal conduit run? Is it A, 18, B, 36, C, 180, or D, 360? Correct answer, D. 3 8 inch flexible metal conduit with fittings outside the conduit has 14 AWG THHN wire installed for the installation of luminaires. What is the maximum number of wires permitted, including any installed equipment grounding conductors in this conduit? 
Is it A2, B3, C4, or D5? Correct answer, D. Direct barrier conductors emerging from grades shall be protected by enclosures in no case deeper than blank to be a point at least blank above grade. A, six inches and 10 feet. B, 12 inches, 20 feet. C, 18 inches, eight feet. Or D, 24 inches and 12 feet. Correct answer, C. What length of flexible metal conduit is allowed to connect physically adjustable equipment and devices permitted to be used in ducts and plenum chambers? A, two feet, B, four feet, C, six feet, or D, 10 feet? Correct answer, B. Cable splices made and insulated by approved methods shall be permitted to be located within a cable tray, provided they are blank. A, located outside. B, are made with listed materials and are sunlight resistant. C, are accessible and project above the side rails where not subject to physical damage. Or D, are contained in an enclosure. Correct answer, C. Surface non-metallic raceways shall not be used blank. A, where concealed. B, where subject to physical damage. C, where the voltage is 300 volts or more between conductors unless listed for a higher voltage in hoistways. Or D, all of the above. Correct answer, D. Generally, the voltage between conductors for surface-mounted raceway not listed for higher voltage shall not be more than blank between conductors. A, 150 volts. B, 250 volts. C, 300 volts. Or D, 480 volts. Correct answer, C. Type MC cable is permitted to be installed in which of the following conditions? A, in a metal raceway. B, where subject to physical damage. C, direct burial in the earth. Or D, in concrete. Correct answer here is A. Wiring methods consisting of single conductors for solar photovoltaic systems shall be permitted to be installed in the same manner as A. THHN multiconductor cable B. Type UF multiconductor cable C. Cable tray installations or D. Flexible cord installations Correct answer actually is C. At what voltage does RMC require the installation of double lock nuts to ensure electrical continuity? A, 120 volts and above. 
B, 250 volts and above, C, 600 volts and above, or D, double lock nuts are always required. Correct answer, B. Above ground installations for circuit voltage over 600 volts, which of the following raceway systems are not allowed? A. EMT B. IMC C. RMC or D. LFMC Correct answer, D. What is the maximum conductor voltage level allowed for FMC? A, 300 volts, B, 600 volts, C, 1000 volts, or D, may be used at any voltage. Correct answer, B. What is the maximum radius of the curve of the inner edge of any bend, any bend used for type AC cables? A, three times the diameter, B, five times the diameter, C, seven times the diameter, or D, 12 times the diameter? Correct answer is B.